Hello there, Aid one here. This is a little uh, exercise I've never actually uploaded to YouTube before so I thought I'd kill two birds with on, uh, one stone. This is my first lathe, it's called a Chester Model B. I'm going to show you a few uh, modifications that I've done to it. I've not had the lathe long, I've had it about two weeks now. The first mod that you'll notice is the bush that I put in the top there to take out the slack that it normally has to keep the vibration down which uh, for some reason I don't know why they didn't do that in the factory but there you go and on the original bearing here they use what they call a roller bearing I'm actually using there a, um, a bearing taken off a timing belt which I've adapted to suit I don't know if you can just see that just get in there a little bit better it runs a lot quieter and smoother keeps vibration down a few little mods I've done as well wing nut on there instead of using the uh, Phillips screw I don't know how they expect you to get a screwdriver in there while you're working so I've done away with that use the wing nut instead and then the other mod same again on the slider they use these little um, what I would call a flying bolt I suppose a little wing on there the trouble is with those what they do when you slide in the slide back they actually catch on the bed there and of course what that does then it tightens the cross slide as you're moving it so I've done away with them I'm using the uh, the wing nuts instead and then the other thing I've done I've got the uh, quick change tool post on there quite a bit of modification needed because of the uh, the centre height of this particular lathe is so high I think it's just under 8 inches obviously you have to lift the uh, tool change are quite high so what I've done I'll just take that off using the original post the original block I've drilled 8mm times 3 actually into the vise drilled that block out um, that's an M14 bolt which I tap that as well to M14 so it's nice and sturdy and then the other modification that I've done is um, or will be doing rather is the backlash that you get on the cross slide. I don't know whether you can see that, which I'm going to be showing you how to get rid of that in a minute. Going to be doing some uh, machining just to try and get rid of that bit of a free play that it's got there, a bit of an end float. And that's about it really. There's a lathe. It's it's um, an in well it's a Chinese lathe. They're okay. Not the, the best quality in the world, to be honest, but it's the first lathe I've had, and um, yeah, it's okay. I'll, uh, I'll see you in a sec when I uh, show you how to do this um, free play modification. Okay, I've gone through with the 5mm and the 6 and now I'm just going to go through with the a uh, 6.8 drill bit. Here we go. And there we have that. Okay, I've got the 8mm in there now, obviously. Because I've got the 8mm in there, what I'm going to do is create a hole big enough for the spring and the little ball bearing that you can see there. So what I'm going to do is go halfway through, obviously on the outside of that boss, just to uh, accommodate enough room obviously for the spring and the ball bearing. And then on the other side obviously I should be tapping that to... Uh, M8, so we'll just go halfway through that, which I'll have to do off camera because I've got to use two hands for that one. Okay, and there we go, I've gone halfway through about uh, 12 mil, I think I measured it at, halfway through with the 8 mil. Obviously, on the other side, that's where the thread's going to go, so that's, um, that's 6.8. I'm going to tap that to um, 8 mil and make myself a little grub screw out of a uh, 8 mil bolt. So what I can actually do is you probably get the, uh, the general idea how it's going to work. On these you've got the, uh, the little measuring 
some sort of outer ring um, that, that sits on there when it's in place and you can see that you've got the outer bit which actually uh, comes off and if you look closely you can see where it's actually been sitting on there so that the, the ball bearing will, will just sit on this inner bit and I can adjust the tension obviously then to uh, to accommodate that free play and we'll uh, we'll give it a quick tap out and uh, see what happens I've spun the work over now, popped it back in the vise and what I've done I've used the drill bit to align the uh, the hole to make sure the tap when the tap goes in that it goes obviously straight now what I'm going to do obviously I'm not going to uh, tap this out under power because that would be a, a big no no all I'm going to do is just use it initially to start it off so I know it goes in square and once I get it into about three or four turns I'll take it out of the vise and then um, pop it over to the bench and then just run it through with the normal uh, the normal handle that comes with the tap and then we should be good good for going I think okay by the magic of uh, instant TV I'm on the bench now We've got the uh, M8 1.25 pitch tap. Just uh, just gone halfway through there. Just thought I'd just stop and grab the old camera so you can have a look. We go all the way through with that. That give me a nice base for the uh, for the grub screw to go through. And then we'll see if uh, see if it's worked. A bit of trial and error really, because it's just a bit of an idea that I come up with. So let's see if it works. And there we go. We're through one freshly cut and make a thread. That's it then, it's back together, greased it all up, and it's uh, a lot, lot smoother now. Instead of the, um, the back of this sort of hub just rubbing on this other sort of outer hub now, it's sort of gliding on that little bearing, and it's just got that much nicer feel sort of thing you'd probably get on a top end lathe. I mean these lathes are good for the money. Your little modifications, you know, they all uh, they all help. So all I've had to do really is I'll wind this out so you can see. It's so smooth now. If you look at the back there you can probably just about see the hole there, the little grub screws in there. And I've just lightly nipped him up. And that's it then. This is Aid 1B, signing off.